Carol Vorderman took savage swipe at her ex-pal Michelle Mona as she goaded her live on air saying she should be jailed. The former Countdown star appeared on This Morning and didn't hold back as she laid into her former close pal conservative peer Michelle Mona alleging she made millions out of a government contract, a claim she denies. The once pally pair previously enjoyed luxury nights out together but the friendship hit the rocks amid Michelle's alleged involvement in awarding of government PPE contracts. Carol told presenters Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary, I cannot talk about useless PPE without also talking about Michelle Mona who was brought into the House of Lords, as a Baroness, by David Cameron. We know she has taken leave of absence without losing the Tory whip to start with because she was actively involved, as it goes, with a company called PPE Medbro. She continued with the takedown admitting she dropped her like a stone when she found out what kind of person she was. Speaking directly to the camera she added, Sue me, Michelle. This morning host Alison Hammond urged viewers that Michelle was not able to defend herself but Carol continued, No she's not here to defend herself but am repeating what has been said in the press. The Tory businesswoman is accused of, of extraordinarily aggressive lobbying in an extract from Matt Hancock's Pandemic Diaries, published in the Daily Mail. The government awarded PPE MedPro a £200 million contract in May 2020 to produce medical gowns which were later alleged to not have been of correct quality standards and specification. The businesswoman completely refutes allegations of wrongdoing on her part or that of her her husband Douglas Barrowman, who was a director of PPE MedPro. Mona previously addressed allegations stating, I was asked to help at a time of national emergency. I declared all necessary interests and have done nothing wrong. Earlier this month PPE MedPro was referred to the UK's health products watchdog, MHRA, after it was alleged to have presented false documents to the government when tendering for PPE contracts. A legal claim against the company was described in a high court document, to seek a return of £122 million in public money for the supply of gowns, which were allegedly not sterile and did not comply with regulations. Regarding the Department of Health and Social Care's legal claim, MedPro told The Guardian it refuted all the allegations, argued that the gowns it supplied did meet correct quality standards and specification, and said it will rigorously defend the court action.